So that's the main trailer wiring unit. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michael, and this is my cycle. Um, today, I'm going to attempt to put in the um, electrical wiring as a part two to my tow bar install on my 2009 um, FLHR Harley Davidson. Um, recently, I've purchased a um, tour light camper trailer to tow behind it. Basically, I'm getting too old to go camping and throw a tent on the ground, so. What I've done is bought myself this tour light trailer, weighs 120 kilos, um, and I'm doing an install for a tow bar and the electrical wiring for it today. So let's get going. Okay, so what I've bought is a Kuriakin uh, plug and play trailer wiring harness for a Harley Davidson. This one's um, 6772 for my Harley. So that's the main trailer wiring unit, um, another relay, some uh, dielectric grease and zip ties and some velcro and an inline fuse. So that's what comes in the kit and that cost $161 Australian from EZR in Gbunk in um, Queensland. That's where I get a lot of my aftermarket parts for my Harley. Okay, so leaving off from the last video, um, with the tow bar install, which is now in place, I've actually lowered the bike off the uh, uh, the work work ramp. Um, left the seat off, so yeah, attempting to do it. So what we have basically done, for those of you that followed the last video, I had a head mount um, camera, and I bent down at one stage, and I bent over, and I not the camera so a lot of the audio and bits and pieces was fine but I was shooting the roof so this time I've got a chest mount one and see if this will work any better so basically I've pulled the wiring out and I've tried to stretch it out a little bit obviously because it was all bundled up tried to stretch it all out because it's quite a long piece of wiring as you can see Um, goes to the trailer to the power source and this this is the power transformer unit for the trailer itself so um, we need to disconnect this and the four pin unit into that wrong way around And I'm guessing this is what all the um, zip ties are for to tidy it all up afterwards. So then this needs to get fed through the frame into the side cover. So I might take off that side cover first. As I said, I ride a 2009 Harley Road King. Um, different different um, motorbikes will have a slightly different configuration but they are all very similar okay so what you need to do is feed this line the four point line in through uh, under the frame and into the side compartment so what i've done is i've made a little lasso out of a um, zip tie to feed in there because as I've said previously, these were obviously made by people with small hands. I don't know if you can see that actually in that loop, but, and it's a little bit hard to do with one hand. So what I'll do is I'll drop that into there and with any luck, lasso it. 
Okay, so now once that goes on, you need to connect this large harness um, to the unit that you've just fed through the subframe. A little bit of grease in there. Make it all nice and tight. Make sure it's clipped in. Then you need to feed the red and black wires, whoops, wrong end. The red and black wires basically up to the battery. So we might see if we can go through the same way. And I'll last through them again. Um, but I'll pull some of this lead down, this line down. So I'll zip tie this to here. And with any luck, that should make it easy because there's so much line there. Uh, make sure I grab the right one pulling it up. Without pulling the ink cable off. Okay, so once you've got a good part of that pulled aside, we'll take the battery cover off. Um, again, a T40 Torx driver. I still don't know if this is a better camera angle mounted off my chest, but we can only try. As I said, I'm new to using a GoPro while I'm actually doing things and trying to be instructional. So it's a big learning curve. So we'll take the control module unit off or out of the way at least. Put that aside at the moment. And that's exposing the battery. Now with the red wire, it's obviously for power. The red wire on this particular one with a black stripe is for an auxiliary, um, an auxiliary power in the trailer. Um, I might put a small light or something in there. So I'll actually connect that, but it's got the same connector. So I need to cut that off and strip it back a little. And to those in this wire connector, plug it in and crimp it down. So, and power into the other one. Again, crimping it down. These have a heat shield on them too, so a shrink shield. So you can um, heat them up and they'll make them resistant to excess water. I'm putting a double crimp in that. I really need to invest in a, um, a uh, heat gun, but at this stage I don't have one, so I'll just use a match. I think next time I go to the hardware store, I'll invest in a heat gun, just for these occasions. So, black and red is auxiliary power, and the red one is a power. Then we need to crimp a plug onto this to connect to the battery, which is supplied. We get out of the little plastic bag. which is the earth. And then we'll just connect it to the battery. I'm starting a quite a little collection. I might have to um, make myself up a mounting block in its dead, because now I've got the trailer connected to this, a trickle charger plug connected to this, my phone charger connected to this, and it's starting to get quite a few, few there. So I might uh, need to reroute it and put a like a fuse block in or something. This is just a matter of um, undoing the clip from the battery. Just to let you know the alarm, the Harley has an alarm and it works. Make sure you've got your remote toggle close to you when you do this. So put your door um, cover back in and reattach all that. 
um, just rerouting or routing the uh, leads out so you've got plenty of room there's sufficient wiring there so there should be no problems with that back to the T40 Command module back in. So everything's back in place. No wires are being snagged on anything. It's all good. Now I think it's just a matter of tidying up some of these wires. I'm lucky in a sense, I've got a um, backrest, so I've got things I can actually strap all the wiring to, to keep it neat and tidy and out of the way. So, um, and with the use of these zip ties that were provided, that way everything will remain firm and not rattle around under the seat and become loose. Zip them on, tidy them up, cut them off. This kit, as I said, comes with absolute everything. Even the alcohol wipes to clean up the module so you can Velcro it to, which is also provided, to possibly heal. This is where I'm gonna put mine. I'm gonna put mine here. So I'll clean that up shortly with the alcohol wipes and put some Velcro on it and attach it to to the uh, module there and to keep it all out of the way. So at the moment, I'm just still tidying up the wires because there's a lot of them. So as I said, this kit comes with everything. So I've cleaned the back surface up with um, the alcohol wipe that's provided and I've attached it to here. So we'll just push that on and hold it for a second so it's firmly in place. Fantastic. Now I'll just finish tidying up these wires. So that's my cables all tidied up. I've uh, bundled them all up, zip tied them. The trailer lead itself, I've run back through the frame and I'll attach that to various parts of the frame, obviously keeping it out of the way of moving parts. So I might connect it here. So I've run it through the frame here. I'll connect it here and possibly down along the back of the uh, saddlebag frame over here and I'll run it down there and then I'll just bundle it up until I get my plug. When I get my plug, I'll probably connect it into here somewhere, I'm thinking. Um, but depends on what plug comes with the trailer, depends on um, what I use. So um, the trailer line with a five point plug and the auxiliary plug as well. So the auxiliary line that I connected earlier, the red and black one. So I'll make sure they're all put aside and capped at this stage until I get a plug. What I've done is I've put shrink um, shield around those and I'll zip tie them off and keep them out of the way until I get the plug to be able to finish this. Um, I might actually even wrap them in a bit of tape to protect them from the elements as well on the interim. What we've done is we've put in the kit, um, joining the Harley one, connected it to the battery, run all the cabling down, bundled it all up, made it nice and neat. This is the trailer module with the power so it doesn't overload the um, Harley circuitry, I'm guessing it's some form of fuse thing, but there is an inline fuse. Then we've run the cable up, kept it out of the way. So this is actually the trailer wire. When I get a plug, I'll connect to the plug, but on the interim, I've wound it back upon itself, attached it with a bright yellow um, zip tie. So it's 
not near any moving parts. Everything's nice and clear. It's good and taut, it's not going to move. So now it's just a matter of putting the saddlebags back on and the seat. Okay, so as I said, just attach the saddlebags. My screw on mounts. I actually shouldn't do that up too tight until I check the front one. Oh, good guess. I must have been paying attention when I took them off. And as you can see, by the time that took to do up, there's no way that is going to accidentally come off. Which is now a bit silly because I've just realized I haven't put the side cover back on. So off they come again. Okay, now with the side cover back on, saddlebags can go back on. I live on a dirt road, you might notice all the dust on the bike. So when I had the garage door open earlier, cars were going up and down the dirt road and covering everything in dust. So same again for the other saddlebag. Couldn't have been lucky enough to get both of them in. So just undo that slightly. And pull it up, just hold it and tighten it up a bit. I'll get it into place and then I'll cinch that up again, uh, tighten that up again. Um, just with a 7 16 spanner. As they're on the outside so they weren't too hard to do. Beautiful. Seat on. Tighten it down. I've actually ordered a thumb screw that goes in the back of this. I'm sure some people have them, but it just hasn't arrived as yet. And again, with this COVID thing being such a small item, I don't think it's high on priority. Lap strap on. As you can see, I've got my lights on now. It uh, got a little bit overcast earlier and it got very dark very quick. Back crest on for the second one. This is that I don't take it off very often, so it um, gets a bit sticky. Rear luggage rack on. And that, my friends, is a job done. So, that's uh, part two of the tow bar install. You've been watching Michael, and this is my channel, My Cycle. If you like it, thumbs up and subscribe and I hope to see you again soon.